Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new version of AutoBleam for the PlayStation Classic. The sweet hack that allows us to add games to our PlayStation Classic and actually make it worth a damn, in my opinion. So we've covered AutoBleam quite a bit in the past and it's definitely the best way to hack your system, in my opinion. But now we have version 0.6.0. It's a beta release and it's available now to the public. Anybody can download it. I'll put a link in the description. That way you can grab it and play around with it. But today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at it and see it in action. Um, so you can decide if you wanna play around with it now. Uh, but it definitely is pretty sweet. Implements a lot of new cool features and things that people have been asking for. But you have to remember with the beta release, there could be some features that aren't working yet. It's more of like a, just a test build, but Definitely pretty fun. I've been screwing around with it today, but here we go on the GitHub. A lot of new features listed. I'm not gonna go through everything here because it's kind of a lot of information, but some new default themes, uh, reverted back to flat covers for now. Using the Evolution UI, totally rewritten game selector. It's pretty neat. You guys will see that in a moment. Uh, this UI can handle up to, or more than 450 games. <laughs> I really don't see the, the point, but you know, some people want a ton of games. Me, I like to just hand pick, have a nice selection of games. I don't think I would ever have that many on my PlayStation Classic, but hey, if that's what you want, that's what you can do with this version of AutoBleam. So definitely pretty sweet. Another cool thing that we got is uh, four selectable resume points. So save states instead of just one. That's a definite welcome addition, right? Um, new options for widescreen and four by three. This is gonna be one that some people kind of like, why, why, why do we need widescreen? Some people like it, a lot of people don't. It's up to you to decide. I'm not gonna get into that debate. The games were mostly meant for four by three from this generation, PlayStation Classic. In my opinion, I'm only gonna play it in four by three, but like he states here, some people just don't like the black bars on the side of the screen. They want the whole real estate taken up. So hey, you can now do that. So if that's your cup of tea, boom, there you go. Not for me, but hey, some people don't mind. Not gonna fight you over it. Uh, what else do we got? A lot of uh, optimized stuff, uh, graphics filters, stuff like that. But one of the cool new features that I found pretty useful is uh, holding L2 and R2, boom, to power off the console. Pretty nice, pretty nice little feature there. Uh, so a ton of stuff, I'm not gonna go over all that. If you wanna take a look, link will be in the description for sure. So let's go ahead and switch on over to the actual PlayStation Classic with this new version of AutoBleam installed. Boom, let me get my uh, little headset on so I can actually hear this. Um, but here we go, this is, uh, I freshly installed this. I already scanned my games. Whenever you first boot up a new version of AutoBleam, it's gonna ask you to scan your games, so just be aware of that. It'll just say, hey, scan games, press X, no big deal. But as you see here, we do have where it shows press L2 and R2 to power off. I'm not gonna do that, it does work. I've tested it. Um, I think from what I'd seen, like the memory card manager's not working at you know on this beta build. I'm not 100%, haven't messed with it. But we still have all the cool stuff that you guys have come to love, or at least I have, like the game manager stuff that's really useful. Um, we're not gonna d dive deep into all that stuff because it's stuff we've already looked at. Um, now in options here, we do have the new themes and then the UI, the evolution UI, which is what we're gonna take a look at in a moment here. Um, or you could switch it, oops, or you could switch it back to, uh, let me see. Oh, the classic. Press left to go to classic, right to the Evolution UI. So you can put it back to the regular one or to the new version. I think the new version's pretty slick. I did like the old version, so it's kind of just gonna be up to whatever your taste is. Um, internal games, pretty sweet. This is another cool feature. So if you have this check marked, boom, x it off. The, the 20 original games aren't gonna show up on AutoBleam. Um, but if you have it checked, they're gonna show up with your mix of games. So you don't have to double it up. Like if there were games on the PlayStation Classic that you wanted to leave on you know, AutoBleam or put on AutoBleam, so you just had them there, you don't have to worry about using up that space anymore. Just check mark, boom, internal games show up. 
Now here's your widescreen <laughs> little option there. Um, I'm just gonna leave it checked off, but if you check it, boom, 16 by nine, not checked, you're at four by three. That's the way I'm leaving it. Quick boot, we've had that background music. You got the little, nice little background music playing right now, but you could turn that off if you so choose. Boom. The graphics filter, um, show retro art and advanced. So pretty typical stuff that we've already been messing with. So there we go. Do we have anything else? Uh, no, let's just go ahead and get into auto bleam, right? So there we go, starting evolution UI. The only thing I have noticed so far messing with this is the Japanese releases I have on here, they're blowed out um, on evolution UI where you're just getting the corner of the box. I don't know if on classic, if it, classic, if it does that. I'll switch to that in a moment. But here we go, um, pretty cool stuff. It's, it's showing you here um, all the information you need, your resume points, and instead of the little wheel of games scrolling around, it's just kind of like how the, play, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic and NES Classic was. And I'm actually really digging this theme as well. Pretty darn sweet stuff. So there we go. Let's just find something to jump into. Um, and there's one of the original games. It's using the artwork that was on the system, so it might not mix well with what you have, but to me, it doesn't bother me too much. It's just those... Um, Japanese releases for whatever reason it's doing that. I don't know why I noticed that earlier. I haven't really dug into it too much, but everything else looks fine the way I expect it. So not really going to complain with that, but there we go. Rainbow Six, you see we got the uh, the original artwork there. Tekken 3, boom. That one was just like that, I believe. I don't know. Siphon filter. And then here's another one. Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden. That little corner. We'll switch We'll switch over in a second to, to check that out. This is like an older build of games. I actually have a new version um, that I've been working on. Uh, like hand-selected stuff that I want. And then making sure all the multi-disc games work. So this one's a, an older build that I just transferred over for the sake of uh, peeping this out, right? So there we go, pretty nice little selection of games. Let me just jump into something. And there we go, it's loading up. And we're right in it. So there we go, still pressing select and triangle brings up your emulator settings, so nice. Let's just see the game load, then I'm gonna back out and see how that works. And then we'll go back to the classic UI and see everything, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> Four by three. I couldn't imagine playing this stretched out, but some people might be fine with that. But here we go. It's a really fun game. I definitely uh, recommend putting it on your, uh, on your own personal build. There we go. Get a quick little uh, couple punches in and then we'll back out and, and test some other stuff real quick. Definitely, man, when with these PlayStation Classics going down to like 40 bucks or less at a lot of places, it, man, it should have launched at that price. I paid $100 for mine originally. I'm not really complaining too much because I have got some value out of it with all this added stuff and with Auto Bleam just being freaking sweet. Oh. Uh. But there we go, you see the game works, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and reset and see how this uh, this works. So there we go, now we're, we're greeted with, with multiple slots. Holy crap, so let's put that in slot two. Let's see, oh, that is nice. I haven't messed with this yet. That is pretty sweet. So that's how I was kind of like put off at first. Well, not put off, but I was like, wait a minute. They said there's four save states, but it's still only showing one down there, but you click on it and then it brings up your slots. That is cool, man. You get the little auto bleam screen for a second, game loads up and you're right back into it, getting my ass whooped. Oh man, pretty cool. But let's go ahead and um, reset once again. Um, but actually, I'm going to go ahead and power off. Boom, I hit the bam, powered right off. I'm going to go ahead and power it back on. I'm going to switch it to classic and see if the, uh, the Japanese titles, if they still show that way as the evolution UI had showed. Hopefully, uh, they're fine. But 
hey, it's still worthwhile checking that out, right? So here we go. Auto Bleam Beta. Uh, options. UI. Let's go to Classic. There we go. Now start Auto Bleam. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how this works. Okay, safety and warnings, health warnings, you know what I'm saying? Gotta stay healthy playing these games. I accidentally boot up a game. I just hit X as soon as it went off of the screen. I'm always doing that. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> my bad guys, I'm not editing that out. I don't care. Let's just check it out. No, we're not saving that. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the classic style with that big mess of games up there, right? <laughs> God, that actually I think I do prefer the uh, the evolution UI, but there we go. The box art for the Japanese stuff looks correct on here. So I'm curious why it's doing that in the ev evolution UI. Not a huge deal, but hey, it is what it is. Um, doesn't look like yeah, it doesn't look like the um, with the classic. UI that you get the original 20 games, so you have to use Evolution UI, but I don't really see a problem with that. Um, those Japanese games I don't have on my personal build, so it's not really even that big a deal, but still something worth pointing out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Let me see what game were we playing. Um, Rival Schools. Let me see how, like, I don't, maybe with this UI, you don't get all the same features. Uh, let's see. Let's find Rival Schools. Check it out. We got it. We just got to check everything out. You know what I'm saying? Where is it? Hmm. So you have to use Evolution UI to have uh, all those features back. Your your multiple save states. I don't see an issue with that. I think actually I like the the Evolution UI better than the classic. Now that I'm really looking at it. So hey, not really a big deal to me. But there we go, guys. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. Spending a few moments of your time with me, peeping out the new version of AutoBleam. Can't wait for this to be finished, but if you want to mess around with the beta, boom, it's available now. Uh, links will be in the description. Also, I'm giving away several controllers right now. We're giving away an 8 bitdo M30 Bluetooth controller and one of the new RetroBit controllers. Information on my Twitter. Cannot post those kind of giveaways on YouTube for whatever reason. Um, with their policies and whatnot to kind of change things. But if you follow me at Twitter at Mad Little Pixel, in my pinned tweet, all the information is there to enter. Um, we're going to be doing giveaways every couple weeks. So definitely worth checking out. So really do appreciate it. Smash it. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye bye. And boom. Bye.